What's up with it, y'all? It's Big Boss, and I'm here again with Marissa. So look, check this out, y'all. I'm going to tag her Instagram below. Mm -hmm. But I had to bring her here because she is one of the most intelligent women oh, I know. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? Opinions ain't that popular, but there's a lot of logic in it. So I'm like, how about I bring her here to ask me cologne questions? And we can kind of riff Q and A style. You feel me? So I'm gonna have her. I'm just gonna break it out the gate. I'm gonna have her start with her first question. And let's get it popping. And I also got some questions for her because I want to hear her perspective. Because people that's educated got a whole different perspective than like she. Straight out. Straight out. So, so <laughs> what, you, what you gotta ask me? What's up? Um, first question. How do you pick your cologne on a day to day basis? Like, do you wear it every day or do you skip a day? How's that go? Okay, so how I wear my colognes is, it's like, I got my, my heavy hitters. Okay. Like I love my Paco Rebond. Okay. Where do you wear Parfum, I, I just wanna be, I just like to wear it all the time. Okay. But, and I like also like YSL LI Parfum. I'm gonna let you smell that. Okay. Like, let me let you smell that. Oh yeah. Just real quick so you just know what I'm talking about. Okay. Ooh, it's in a little case. I know. Now, he sprayed it on me, so it just better be... Fire. But it's amazing. Anyway. Well, I know, but... <laughs> it smells so good. It's, yeah. So, I like... I like... I, like, I be liking that. You know what I mean? Oh, this one's good, though. Okay. But how I pick my stuff is... I be... Like, I look at my colognes as my little babies. Right. So, I be feeling bad when I don't wear them. Oh. So, I kind of try to even out the playing field. Okay. Like, I'll, I'll be knowing... I, I'll, I'll kind of sit back and I'll stare at the whole shelf. Right. And be like, who am I neglecting? And I'd be like, oh, baby, I didn't wear you in a long time. And that's what I wear. So it's really not even like a, it's not like a, I like this so much, I'm going to wear it. I got some colognes I favor, but I really just right. don't be wanting to show favoritism to my kids. So I'd be like, I got you, bro. I got right, you. Right. Just, that's all. It's kind of like a little fun. <laughs> no. But I just, it's like, and I do that with my shoes too. Like if I wear my black, you know what I'm saying, uh, Jordans too much. I'm like, oh, my blue Jordans. Right, right. Ah, oh, I gotta wear these. Right, and I'll try right. to put an outfet together and do it like I that. I get it, because so. you use a lot of everything that you have and just. Yeah. Now, quick question. You don't neglect them, but did you, did you pick all of them because you like them? Or. Because um, if you're neglecting it for a reason, it's probably because you don't like it. Right. So. Uh, okay, so basically, what I how I look at it when I'm buying the colognes. I just I kind of got this mental thing where it's like because I'm a cologne reviewer, okay. I have no choice but to buy every cologne. It's, it's so that is even a plan because you want you don't want yeah, to them. Exactly. Like. I don't like to even out the playing field. I mean I do like to even out the playing field, but because I'm a cologne reviewer, it's kind of like when you go on YouTube and you look up like a okay you a girl like hair reviews mm -hmm. or you look up like. Uh, movie reviews. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. go, you go on there. You don't want to do just being like, yeah, I'm not watching Spider Man because I don't like. Right. It's like, bro, you yeah. a movie review. You gotta watch right. it exactly. regardless. So it's like I kind of look at it like I, it's my profession. It's like right. I have to review clones whether I'm aware of it or not. Right. But I still feel like they're my kids. So even if it's clone I don't like, okay, they made it. So it's somebody out there that like it, right? Okay. So I'll just put it on. Okay, I'm okay with that answer. That's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Fly, 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 shit. I'm okay with that. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, I'm okay with that answer. I have another question. Okay. I actually have four. That's cool. What's your favorite? Wait, that's not the question. Yeah, what's your favorite cologne and why? Now, before you answer, okay. Think solely about your answer and not how the, your cologne babies would feel. Like overall favorite or just yeah. right now? I know that might be hard, but if you can. Um, my overall favorite. Oh, you gonna say right now? No, I'm about to say overall. Okay. Overall, right now, I like Paco Rebond's One Million. Is that the goal? Yeah, really but speak. I like it based off how many compliments I get. Like it's like a it's like a com it's like a confidence booster. That plus, was my it smells next good. Question. All right, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> like this. Like it's just the amount of compliments. Oh. I know. Paco Rebond, One Million Perfume. You see how you sprayed it twice. Oh my goodness, this has a strong smell. I have like a lot of emotions in this smell. And that's what it is. Just be like, no, it's like, dude, I just get so much compliments when I wear this. So it's, it's really like a confidence booster and I like how unique the smell is. 
So it's kind of like a, it's like my little signature. I like it. You like it? Mm-hmm. But all I'm telling you, once you smell it on a dude, it's just so different. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I imagine you just, you just, you've been smelling air and somebody just boom. I know. Fuck? Hey, man, you smell yeah. good. You, cause this, it cuts through the. Yeah. The yeah, <laughs> it just cut through the bullshit. Yeah. It gets right. To, it get I was right just to about you. to say, I gotta smell it. Cause that's the difference. Mm-hmm. You know? I like it though. But yeah, so the reason why I like it, like I said, was it gives me a lot of compliments, y'all. Mm. Bottle is this? It's all it screams sophisticated. Like when you grab this, you just feel like money. Like I'm about to spray a gold bar on me. It's called one million. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like and it no, smells I'm good and it gets me the most compliments. It's like everything that I like. Just, but who compliments you? Older women or your age women? Actually, it's all women. Oh. It just smells great. You like and I, me and too. Hey, bro. Right, right, right. This is the cologne that I said when I was in Arlington, Texas. Mm-hmm. My dude had on. He whipped this mm-hmm. out, and I was like, like I'm minding my business. Right, right, right. Cause I, hey, look, yo, I don't be in nobody business. <laughs> I was minding my business, and I didn't want to. These. Hey, man, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Show me. It. So this kind of this is also introduced me to the cologne world, so I might be a little biased, but mm-hmm. he got he is 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 still good. So it's like it's my favorite. One million. He said, "Has see how I color coded for all the gold stuff next to." I know. I saw the blue with the black. Yeah. All right. Oh, and oh, that was my question. Which cologne gets you the most compliments and you just said it yeah so yeah like, yeah that's fine okay so basically top it all together you pick your colognes based off of which one is getting dust collected on them yeah so you don't want to show favoritism and the one that you think is your favorite is the one Paco Rabanne <laughs> one million hey yeah Paco Rabanne and Rabon. you get the most compliments mm-hmm. and I'm sure it was an expensive bottle, and it does smell good. So when I think of cologne on men, okay, I think of how they want to be to women and how they are to women. So if I smell something, I walk past you, and I smell something, or I smell whatever you got on, mm-hmm. whether I like it or not depends on whether it makes a statement or if it's just power, just a statement-making cologne, you know? And I feel like not all these brands want that. Okay, so what's your question? That was my question. I feel as though that wasn't a question, was it? It was a statement for sure. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was a statement. And then I was gonna add that, but that ties into the other question I had for you. How do you pick it? Because it's like, do oh, you wear like the do same I? Oh, when you go to the gym. Do you wear the same cologne? Oh, when you go to the I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. so some there is some date night colognes. Okay. Date night colognes is always like spicy, chocolate, anything that can. So you kind of got to think about like Valentine's Day. Okay. Valentine's Day is chocolate flowers. Okay. So that brings over into the clone world. So it's clones that's chocolatey, floral, oh, lavender, okay. sweet, cakey right, right. type fragrances okay. that a girl would love to smell up under a dude because it set that mo- that mood and that vibe. Okay. You don't want to be. In the covers, making love, listening to to, to Marvin Gaye, and the dude smell like summer. Yeah. It's like you know what I'm saying. Nighttime's always like a velvet color, yeah, musky, it. sweet, sensual type fragrance. So you, it's a mood like, thing. Yeah. You don't want to smell like wood, leather inside. Because the bed. we were just talking about his air fresheners over there before I came in. I wanted the smell he had over there. I usually run away from vanilla smells as an air freshener. I just think mm-hmm. it's. I don't like it. Do I got any over there? No. Okay. What you got? What well, he got is fine. But okay. would you think of any like relaxing smells to wear? Like you would smell it in the air in your apartment, but would you think about wearing it? Oh, uh, because that's probably like a comforting smell. So if a woman just com- com- comforting smells. There is comfort. Like it makes me want to hug you because I've smelled stuff like that. I was like, oh my god, he smells so good. It makes me want to, you know. Uh, well, I think that's all preference. Cause it's some clothes that smell like laundry detergent, like, <laughs> like it's like soft, like fabric softener, and it's like, it's fabric softener, the <laughs> cuddle type. Come what? on, <laughs> so it's like it is, fra- it is fragrances like this copper pine one up there. Uh-huh. That smell. Like, let me just let you smell this real quick. Okay, I see it now. Let me see that first. Let me get your other wrist like that one. Oh, did we do use that one already? Yeah, you did. Okay. Well, oops. But yeah. It smells good though. But it's like a clean laundry. It is. 
But this isn't a statement piece. It smells really good. That's because that's because laundry a, it will never be statement. It's not a ooh not a turn turn your head. Because laundry ain't a statement. No, but La- it smells good though. Laundry is a ooh I'm clean. But it ain't a statement. <laughs> like you, it's like you're supposed to be clean. Yeah. A statement is something that's just extraordinary. I like feel like a, a, the you clean and you sweet and sexy. <laughs> the statement comes with a taste level to me. Like, like you know how like some people don't like caviar and all that fancy stuff. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's a taste level you have. All right, what's up, y'all? Like, the video has stopped prematurely. But <laughs> if y'all did like this Q and A, mm-hmm. um comment below let me know what's going on because i never did this before so i want to know if y'all like q and a's y'all may bring that back and do it more and maybe do like a whole little podcast maybe sit down and really get deep into right. detail you know what i'm saying but i want y'all to like comment and subscribe comment below follow me i keep forgetting to say that follow me I'm follow me. she's smart <laughs> and if you want to argue and you got some you got some de- <laughs> yo, but y'all, y'all be emotional with it yeah, so true. might be a little argument but debates can be fire as well mm-hmm. so like I said, watch her stories on Instagram. She has a lot of different topics she ta- she tackle. She do art. She got, you know what I'm saying? She's talented. So tap in. It's Big Boss. Marissa. And we out. I'm serving, I'm selling that cake. Fuck all the fucking and fuck all the talking and fuck all the walking, got money to make. Fuck on a bitch and I don't do a date. Came off the streets and I'm paving my way. Yeah, you on top, but I'm counting your days. Yeah, you on top, but I'm counting your days. Came to the party with no gun. Left the party with a